I think I mentioned this previously on another podcast in terms of me being a little bit bored and a little bit over the pattern Nike Air Max ones. And I got to take it back, the, the wave ones. I got to take it back because after seeing these white ones and obviously the story around them concerning um, Edson, one of the co founders of Pato, and his son, who unfortunately passed away, um, these ones are really, 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 really good. And it's the Pato um, Air Max One waves in white. And for some reason, I don't know what it is about the color combination of having, I guess, three variations of white on or on it, right? In terms of you've got this kind of off-white midsole, you've got this pure white on the upper, and then you've got this sort of like, I wouldn't say it's even white because it's more the gray, but let's just say three versions of white in terms of a grayish, metalish kind of mesh here on the gray upper. It just sets it off each other so fucking well. And if anything, this for me is one of the better colorways to come off of this Waves collection with Air Max 1s, oh, sorry, with Pattern and stuff, um, since the first sort of couple of colorways that dropped. Remember when we first saw the first couple of colorways, I think the, what was it, green and blue or whatnot? They were fucking amazing. This kind of restored that sort of feeling. And it also kind of reminded me of like seeing crazy one away samples or beast or, or beast samples or just stuff randomly you might saw on ebay of like old air maxes from back in the day and then kind of picking those up Do you know what i mean that's what they kind of feel like in terms of the shape in terms of the, what they just look like overall with the color balance and stuff it just looks fucking perfect and i think there needs to be a lot more credit being put on people nowadays because i feel like for a long time even myself included when it came to sneaker collections or secret collaborations i always for me felt like collabs I always thought for me like collabs are just kind of centered around colorway changes were a little bit lazy and a little bit easy to do i always wanted to see brands kind of push themselves and try to make new models from the ground up or maybe pick a model from a retro that wasn't the most used one like try and go for something that might challenge you a little bit more as a designer or challenge your consumer in terms of what silhouettes and shapes that they want to wear but I do think nowadays, especially considering the stuff that I've seen Jown do with New Balance and whatnot, the stuff that Teddy Santis is doing now with New Balance, of course, with New Balance USA, and I have some other people too that have done some really cool stuff. I think nowadays the the kind of execution level that people are having in terms of putting together really cool colorways on existing models that have been really rinsed and kind of overdone is incredible because make no mistake in my opinion i think the waves mudguard or sort of like style that they've got in this mx1 i think personally improves the shape tenfold now i don't know if this is done on purpose or if it's done or, or if they actually did change the molding of the shoe but the shape of it without late without um without the kind of foot thing that people put in it without somebody's foot kind of pinning it down without somebody wearing a size seven with pin rolls on it just the shape of how flat that looks on the outside no banana toe foot thing i think has been helped a lot with this kind of like wave sort of thing that's kind of wraps around the the fucking toe box and whatnot but make no mistake if this is just a normal air max one this would still look amazing too so i think that goes to show how great this sort of colorway design is i think there isn't enough respect and kind of props given to people who are just able to put together sick colorways because of course you can go to nike and try and make your own model from the ground up and stuff if they give you the access to do so or the materials and the resources cool but if you can also crush a colorway on a model that's completely rinsed that's kind of maybe overdone and maybe oversaturated in terms of the air max one especially when you think about the air max one days and all that sort of stuff also the air max day in general the fact that they were able to still make something so covetable and desirable goes to show just how talented that group of guys are in general when it comes to pattern and it should be no surprise also because these guys have what 20 plus years experience in the sneaker game um you know i've i've known about them ever since i used to post on crooked tongues forum back in the day um i've I kind of know some of them by loose association i don't know them personally but i know of them who they are via loose association with people that i've kind of known in the kind of london sneaker scene and whatnot and i know they're all kind of very 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 legit people so there is no kind of um jokers or pretenders in their crew and whatnot but still that being said sometimes you can still end up smelling your own farts and thinking you're fucking einstein so the fact that they were able to still come together and put together these bomb out colorways and just drop them one after the after the, one after the other after the other and sell those bitches out continuously just goes to show these guys know what they're doing and i don't know what i'm talking about when i say i was bored of them because i'm not because this colorway is fucking banging i'm definitely going to try and get a pair for myself because they look so good now just that like i said there's just that free colorway combination in terms of whether that gray is the pure white here on the upper, the off-white midsole, the all-white outsole, it's just beautiful. If anything, the only thing I would have maybe changed if it was me 
if it was me, was maybe change the colour of the fucking airbag. Maybe make it a bit more clear of a white. Maybe have a little bit of a sky blue tint in there or something. Just something to make it pop off. But apart from that, it looks fucking perfect. The only thing I think is a bit different in terms of the white application. Maybe it's just me from the picture. Does it look like the white on the main sort of like middle section of the Air Max is a bit different than than the mud guard bit here? Or then the out it wasn't me. It feels like this sort of material or even the colour is different than this because if you look on this picture here with the heel where it's got the Nike Air Max sign, the colour of white is a little bit different than this colour here around the mud guard. So maybe there is again that crazy level of attention to detail where they essentially they use these different whites but then also use different materials which then would show up different in the whites. You know what I mean? So if you had three different types of material in terms of let's say smooth leather new buck and maybe i don't know metallic and you had them in whites they would come up different in terms of how they looked um the texture and whatnot um yeah so maybe that is kind of what's basically happened with these but regardless man they look absolutely banging i love everything about them they really did a stellar job and according to over under these will be available in the summer of 2022. No date. It's thus, it's going to be retaining 140 pounds, which is nuts. But hey, those that's the prices, and they're going to be available at sneakers uh, on the sneakers app and also on Pat's website. So, if you haven't already decided if you want them, I recommend checking out these pictures. And oh, look at that! They look they look like they're glowing. Do you know what they look like? They remind me. They kind of look like you remember um, those old school Mariah Carey videos where it looks like she's glowing. She's got like a halo around her and shit. That's what they kind of look like to me. They, like you're floating. Do you know what I mean? Like legitimate um, walking on heaven shoes. Really amazing, man. Really, really well done. Um, I think there's a friends and family version too, if I'm not mistaken, um, as well. But yeah, they've got a hang tank here. Each one, teach one. Like fucking great. Again, the only reason, the only problem I have again with them, a slight bugbear and such pet peeve of mine being a avid sneakerhead myself is the lack of relacing you can't be pattern and have these be your official product images and not have the shoes relaced properly like this is just horrible to see but again small things in it small things but overall really really great really well done shoe can't wait to see them in hand and i'm gonna obviously try my best to try and get myself a pair but if not be successful is a completely other thing